Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Digital, a love story. That's when we left off, well, read a bunch more messages and, well, yeah, there you go. Uh, as soon as I finished, the lo finished off the last part of the video, or the last video, I went ahead and uh, exited out my, uh, I shut down the workbench and I reloaded it again. I didn't have to shut down my, the whole game, but I shut down the workbench and I clicked load again. And when I did that, as you can see, the version is now 1.4.1. I don't know if you need to do this, but I did it just in case, probably to get the game, you know, progress further, but you know, whatever. So let's hear these messages now. You do realize that Ni Hao is Chinese, right? What sort of idiot are you anyway? This is the sort of thing a 12 year old would write, not your ordinary 12 year old specifically, one who doesn't know the first thing about electronics, international politics, language, history, or basic god. You know what? I can say any other word, but I can't say god. Meh, sense. Just because that's a personal issue for me. Uh, just religious aspects. To me, I just can't do that. I know it's very weird. I can say every other bad word in the world, like in the world. Can't say God. Meh. Whatever. Bravo, Rain Breeze. Bravo. Let's see here. Okay, I read this message. I read this message five times over. I still can't decide whether or not this is the dumbest thing I've ever read or some sort of brilliant, brilliant satire. So all I'm going to say is that my definitely you definitely made my laugh. <laughs> it definitely made me laugh my ass off. And that's pretty much how I feel whenever I read funny stuff on the internet, even on YouTube, or sometimes I get troll comments, and they just make me laugh more than anything. Uh, <laughs> oh well. So, Super Roberto Brothers on DOS. It's kind of like that familiar Nintendo game, except a lot more hardcore and definitely way sicker. Just wait until you get to, get to World 3. You'll see what I mean. Without a doubt, this is my favorite DOS game ever. Which is kind of like a command prompt game. Uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> they give us this, but we can never download the attachment. And this guy, he'll give us a couple of messages like this, and we'll never get to play the game. I know, I th it sucked too. I was like, oh crap, I'm going to be able to play a game within a game. Like, Gameception. But that doesn't work. Oh well. New Codes from Rob Fugitive. Oh, that's a really awesome screen name there. Disclaimer, this shit is 100% illegal. If you get busted for doing being stupid enough to use these on a sprint line, it ain't my fault. And now, on with the codes. And we get a, these th codes, we're like, what the hell's that? Happy dialing! Alright, and then we got some codes, and it says don't be using this on a sprint line, but... Whatever. So, I wonder what the hell that means. Hmm. Any new messages? Oh, it's from that dude. We don't know, we, from those codes, we don't know anything about. Man, don't you know anything about anything? Let me educate you. Codes are long distance calling card codes. See, the way the big cats at Sprint set up their system, all you have to do is guess a valid number and BAM! Your call is free. They eventually catch on to hundreds of people using the same code and shut them down, and they can bust people doing it who use Sprint for phone service. But for everyone else, it's just a long distance call for the, for the price those greedy bastards should be charging anyway. Try it out. Book and call card number is 915-3347. You can try using it to connect to a long distance BBS, like Gibson BBS at 714-402-5691. So that's pretty much the whole use of codes. They allow us to dial into long distance uh, bullet bulletin boards, which is pretty cool. Uh, where we're going to be needing it too. Hey, no problem, just doing my part to help the community. Everyone has a newbie once, you know. Uh, everyone was a newbie once. True. And, uh, yeah, well, I guess that's it at the moment. Sweet. And we're going to have disconnect, and, uh... Hmm, what the hell's that? I thought I heard something. Before we actually go on to, um, that we use in code, let me go back to Lake City and see if anything's there. Alrighty, let's see here. Yep, we got new messages, so that's a good thing. Uh, what's it from? Oh, it's from Amelia. Running away? Have you ever had to run away from your home? Personally, no. My character, I don't know. Maybe. Don't run, run away. I know, it is pretty dramatic. It's just, well, no, family-wise. I've never had much to lose. We sort of keep our distance. They're not big on communicating anyway. I'm just scared. I don't know what to do and I feel like I have nobody to turn to. Well, you always got me. Well, over the internet, I guess. Getting out. I did it. I finally cut all my connections. I don't know whether or not I'm still 
I'll still be safe, but I have to try, right? Today's a new day and all. Maybe I'll manage to get by. Maybe. Hmm. Seems like she's going okay. Now, this game doesn't take place in a matter of an hour, so this game is supposed to take place in a matter of a couple days or even months. I'm not entirely sure, but there you go. Just wanted to let you guys know. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Well, it seems like we're watching out for her. Oh, another one for Amelia. Do you really mean that? I'm really so glad to hear you say that. What did I say exactly? Hmm. Oh, we got two new things. Hmm. I... Truthfully? I've been waiting anxiously for your replies, and I feel... Well... I've never really felt this way about anyone before. I'm really not sure how to say this. I've written this message out three times already, and every time I get to the point, I just can't bring myself to say it. Is that wrong? Is that normal? I'm sorry, it's just... I can't stop worrying about that I'm going to say something wrong. I feel like I'm going to explode. Well, okay. I'll just say it. I think I'm in love with you. I mean it. I'm in love with you. Is that wrong? Please, if you understand, let me know. I really have to know if you can under... understand. God, please. Huh. Well, she's in love with me. I have a long-distance relationship now. Awesome. I think I know why the hell the game's called Digital Love Story. It's between me and Amelia. However, what happened to the BBS? I, was... I got disconnected. That's not cool. I log back in. Bastards. Who kicked me out? Hmm. What in the name of God happened to Lake City... Lake City... whatever the hell it's called. This is a huge error. Access error 0xAA. Something bottom here. Unrecoverable system error. Please contact. What? System. What did it say? Uh, please contact manufacturer. Well, wait a minute. So I can't access Lake Central anymore. Or Lake City. Damn it! Lake Central. I don't know why the hell I keep saying that. Well. Okay, that's weird. It doesn't look like I'm able to get into. Uh, get into the message board now. Maybe the people at the Matrix know what's going on because well, frankly it's kind of creepy to walk into or log into. It's like what the hell is happening here? Now, hopefully they have something something to tell me here. Uh, huh. Actually I do see a couple of new things here but I'm, I mean I do see something I need to read but I'll go ahead and download, download these first and then I'll go ahead and read these. And there we go. Password cracker for DOS. Hmm. Don't care what you do with it. Don't want to know what you do with it. Uses brute force. Not useful for systems of an admin paying attention. Interesting enough. Uh, well, a brute force attack pretty much is um pretty much uses uh, thousands and thousands of passwords and uh, like pretty much I guess it could be seconds into determining how fast the uh, cracker could run. But, yeah, pretty much it uses a bunch of words that I guess the password and different combinations. It's out there. I had to use it once. Not for illegitimate uses. I had to use it for one of my classes on a, on a virtual network. Trust me, I wouldn't... I don't, I don't think I would ever want to use it on... for a real purpose, so there's that. Akuma? From Street Fighter? We won. We won what? Look, man, we definitely won that shit. I don't know what you're talking about. They even said it themselves. We got pirate, pirate victory keyword. Victory. Come on, we clearly own their asses. What the hell is he talking about here? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard you say. I'm with Rob at this one. Lake City Central. Lake City locals boned. And Jay Rook is the admin. There he is. I do not have any idea what happened, but the god blank system is fucked. Go ahead, try to dial it. Go ahead, try to dial it. All you can see is what I can see, that creepy error message repeating. Basically, the whole computer seems to be boned. Not sure what could have caused any of that. It just went down in the middle of the night. It seems like damn near everything that was on the computer has just been corrupted, including the logs. I'm still trying to recover the data on the floppy drives, but... Well, it's definitely going to be a long time before Lake City Local's back online. Crap, okay, so... 
they're not the only ones that see it. Uh, oh, here's a hacker thing. Here's a simple implement implementation of brute force password checker or, or for written in Amy assembly. For educational purposes only, of course. Yeah, 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 just give me a damn thing. Uh, is that it? Huh. Is that it? Nope, well, we got a couple more messages here. We won. Fuck you. Alright, there, that was nice. Thank you, Akuma, you bastard. No way, bro. Ah, the question. I wonder what I said him. Maybe I told him that I can I log into this one? He's like, no. God, no. Huh. Oh, I already logged in. Oh, yeah, I accidentally clicked the password logger. There was no... Yeah, password cracker. There's no need, no, no need to click on that if we already have the password to a system, right? Alright, is... I guess that's it. No new messages. Well, I guess that means it's time to log into... Uh, the long distance thing, the Gibson BBS. Alright, so, uh, let's see here. First, we gotta dial in the long distance calling card, which is 915-3847. I'll keep this in because it doesn't go through all the way. Hold on a minute. It's a little annoying. Okay. Please enter your calling card access number. So we have we have three of them at the moment. Okay, so we'll use the first one. Two, three, five, one, four, three. The access number you have given has been rescinded. Please contact Sprint Billing if you believe this is to be an error. Crap. That sucks. Well, let's try that. Uh, we'll, we'll try that again. Remember what he said. Sometimes that they will be rescinded, and you can't. Sometimes you can't. Won't use the card anymore. If hundreds of people keep using it, then they know something's up and they'll stop that. They'll block it. All right, so let's try four five eight seven three. There we go. Please enter a number including area code you wish to dial. So we got this one called Gibson BBS. So seven one four four zero two five six nine one. And here we are at Gibson BBS. We have a operator of Wintermoot invitation only. Cyberpunk lives here. Invitation only? Enter your password? Well, I can't create a, uh... I can't create an account? Wait a minute, come on! That's not cool! Hmm... Well, I can't type it in. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I wonder what I could do! I don't know the password! Only if I had a program to get the password! Oh wait, I do! Boom! So that's pretty much what the dictionary hacker does goes through a bunch of words, and if it finds it, it finds it. I don't know how long this will take. Hopefully not long. I think every time you play the game, it's always going to be something different. I think before I had something called a... I don't know, what the hell did I have before? Books? Paper clips? Something weird. Here? It's actually taking quite a while. Oh, here we go. Catchers. And see? I'm already logged in. Isn't that, isn't that pretty cool? So next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and visit the Gibson BBS, or, I mean, look at the messages, and I'll see where the story is taking us. We we did a lot in this episode. We, we kind of, like, pro well, I guess we proclaimed our love for Amelia, but she kind of did the same thing for us. And, well, now we're using illegitimate means to access other BBSs, and, well, I wonder where this is going. And we can't even access Lake, Lake, Lake City, uh, Lake City Local anymore. What's up with that? Well, I guess we'll find out next time, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Digital, a love story. See you guys later.